Hi, I'm Stephanie McMillan. I'm a cartoonist, an organizer, and a member of the Rapid Response Network. Today I want to give you an update on the fight for a higher minimum wage in Haiti. First, thank you so much to everyone who's contributed. Your contributions are an important aspect of solidarity in this fight. With your support, Bata Uvri and its associated trade unions and collectives have been in the streets making their demands known to the government, factory owners, and manufacturers. 500 gourds, or $11.50 a day, it's the bare minimum needed to exist. On November 7th, the Collective Textile Factory Unions, COSIT, organized a march from the Kodevi Free Trade Zone through the various popular neighborhoods in the area to the center of Wanamint, which is in the northwest of Haiti. More than 8,000 workers took to the street demanding 500 gourds, which is a pittance, plus free transportation, cafeteria, health care, and retirement. On Sunday, November 17th, about 250 workers gathered at the Hotel La Plaza in Port-au-Prince to discuss the minimum wage. Monday, November 18th, the trade union in Caracol, which is in the north of Haiti, observed its one-year anniversary with a general assembly. This trade union has fought hard to exist given the major challenges that Say a a Korean manufacturer, and the Clinton Foundation have presented. Tuesday, November 26th, the collective of textile factory unions took to the streets of Port-au-Prince to make their position known in a mass mobilization. Workers sang songs while others graffitied on walls, 500 gourds. Bata Ouvrier estimated the cost of these recent mobilizations at around $2,500. Our goal was to help them recoup this money and send some extra to help them continue their fight. Take the time now to contribute to their organizing efforts. Finally, on November 29th, the State Salary Council announced the official minimum wage at only 225 gourds. One of the main reasons cited for this measly amount is the need for Haiti's poverty wages to remain so-called competitive with those of countries like Cambodia, Vietnam, and Bangladesh. In Haiti, clothing is shipped tariff-free to North America and sold at an enormous profit. Manufacturers refuse wage increases to protect their rate of profit. Gildan, Haynes, and Walmart all produce garments in Haiti. Glenn Shamadi is the President, Chief Executive Officer, and Director of Gildan. In 2012, he made $795,857. Richard Knoll, Chairman of the Board and Chief Executive Officer for Haynes Brand, Incorporated, took home over a million dollars in 2012. And Michael Duke, Director, President, and Chief Executive Officer of Walmart, received a salary of $1,264,775. These companies can afford to pay a living wage in Haiti, Bangladesh, Cambodia, Vietnam, and wherever garments are produced. So the fight continues and your support is still needed. This Indiegogo campaign ends on December 11. Please make a contribution now to help Bataille Ouvrier continue this fight. You can also find the Rapid Response Network on Facebook and keep up with this and other workers' struggles. Thank you so much for your support.